let's talk about capacity testing for a little bit. Why is it important to capacity test your battery? Your battery in your aircraft is basically used for two things, starting your aircraft and providing you with essential power to get back on the ground if you lose your generating system. So the only way to make sure that your aircraft has minimum capacity in it is to do a cap check roughly every year. In our batteries, we require 85% capacity. So for instance, if you have a battery that's a 33 amp hour battery, and that's a one hour rate, for that battery to have minimum capacity, it has to provide you with that much power for 51 minutes. You could have a battery that appears to be fully charged, but if it has sulfation or some degradation inside the battery, unless you've cap checked that battery, it might have five minutes of essential power available. So it's critical at least every year that that battery is capacity tested to prove its airworthiness. How can a pilot or a maintenance person make sure a battery is properly conditioned? Well, there's two different types of charging that you typically do with a lead-acid battery. There's potential charging, which is constant voltage charging. That's the most common way that you'll charge a battery. But if you have a battery that does not pass a capacity test, there are ways to bring that battery above the minimum capacity, and it's called a conditioning charge. In a conditioning charge, we don't typically control the voltage. For instance, that same example, if you have a 33 amp hour battery, you'll divide that by 10, so that's 3.3 amp hours. And you will charge at that rate, but you won't control the voltage. We talked earlier about controlling the voltage. In this situation, what you're attempting to do is to turn the lead sulfate back into lead oxide that's on the plate. And that higher voltage, as that voltage goes up, it will return it back to its original state. Now you have to be very careful when you condition charge because the battery will get warm and then it will eventually get hot. And at that point you want to stop the process, let the battery rest, and then do another capacity test to see if you've improved the performance of the battery. And we tell people, make that conditioning charge attempt twice, and if it doesn't work, then it's time for a new battery. Aero TV is brought to you by this AeroCast is sponsored by ForeFlight, makers of intelligent iPhone and iPad apps for pilots. Visit ForeFlight.com to see and hear more about ForeFlight Mobile. With best-in-class design, touch planning, brilliant pre-flight and in-flight weather displays, and backed by fanatical pilot support, ForeFlight Mobile is aviation's most popular app.